of the big races that we're going to be following tonight is the North Carolina Open U.S. Senate seat. Congressman Ted Budd and his supporters are gathering in downtown Winston-Salem tonight to watch the election results pour in. Mm -hmm. Our chief political correspondent, Emma Withrow, is at the event. She joins us now with a little bit of background on Budd. Emma? It's been a long campaign for Congressman Ted Budd. He had to fight tooth and nail in that crowded primary full of reputable Republicans to secure that nomination. And now he's been taking on Sherry Beasley, a former North Carolina Supreme Court judge. Bud's only been in politics since 2017 when he won North Carolina's 13th district. He's been in Congress ever since, but decided to run for Senate a few months after hearing Senator Richard Burr would be retiring. Bud shocked everyone when former President Donald Trump gave him that coveted endorsement, which eventually secured him the Republican nomination by setting him apart from other candidates. Now, Bud's also been the recipient of a lot of financial support from the conservative super PAC Club for Growth. They've dumped millions of dollars into advertising against Beasley. Throughout the last few months, we've seen Bud and Beasley polling pretty neck and neck, but throughout the last couple of weeks, we've seen Bud pull ahead with around a six-point lead. Now, coming up at five, I'll fill you in on what this race means for the Republican Party, as well as the dynamic of power throughout the rest of the country. But for now, reporting in Winston-Salem, Emma Withrow, Queen City News. All right, Emma, thank you. And this is one of the races that's going to help determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Ted Bud, Sherry Beasley, both trying to win the seat for U.S. Senator Richard Burr, who is retiring and Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is in Raleigh tonight where Sherry Beasley will hold her election night event. Will this be the night North Carolina voters send a Democrat back to the nation's capital once again? Sherry Beasley sure hopes so as she's locked in a tight race with U.S. Congressman Ted Budd for the U.S. Senate. Now, Beasley is no stranger to close political races. Back in 2020, when she ran a reelection bid for Chief Justice, she lost by 401 votes. Over the last week, Sherry Beasley has been slipping in the polls with the latest being released by East Carolina University. But if Beasley can win some of those counties that are typically going to Republicans, she could turn one of those Senate seats blue once again in the Tar Heel State. Of course, this is just the beginning of our election coverage and we'll have plenty more from Raleigh. But for now, Will Lewis, Queen City News, back to you. Yeah, and that Bud Beasley race, uh, not just important to North Carolinians, but as you heard there and what we're going to tell you over and over is it's going to play a big part in which party wins the majority in the Senate.